Log base 5, x to the power of 3. What can we do with this? Well, if we remember basic, basic algebra, we can remember that x to the power of 3 is simply x times x times x. So let's change that first. x times x times x. So our x to the 3 has become x times x times x, and then log base 5 will stay log base 5. What can we do with that? Well, if we remember from our previous section, if we have multiple things multiplied inside of a log, we can change that to the addition of logs. Since there are three pieces being multiplied, there will be three logs. Um, and we're in log base 5, so we're going to stay in log base 5. So here's number 1, log base 5 of our first x, log base 5 of our second x, and we're adding, because adding and multiplying correspond to each other. And then we'll have log base 5 of our third x. And that's going to go behind the handle, but we know what it is, so there we go. Now, if we have log base 5 of x plus log base 5 of x plus log base 5 of x, that just means we have three of the same thing being added together. So it's just three log base 5 of x. So functionally, what we've done is we've taken this little 3 and we've moved it around to the front. Or, in the more fun way, we have taken the 3 and we have moved it around to the front. So, any log base b x to the n, we can always move the n around to the front, giving us n log b x.